Well, um, when she was four weeks old, she, my two-year-old actually dropped her. Uh, at first, we thought she was okay because we were able to calm her down. Then the next day, she was fine. But the day after that, every time she cried, uh, she screamed. I, I didn't feel right. So um, we took her to the hospital. Uh, they asked if she was fever, throwing up, and I said no. Nope. Uh, then they checked her temperature, and uh, she had a fever of 39.5 degrees. So without hesitation, they rushed her into the back. As we were get going to the back, she threw up all over me. So then I knew, okay, she's sick. This isn't from a fall. They came back and they told me that they found in her, from the lumbar puncture and the blood work, that she had cell counts of 500. Um, so they diagnosed her with onset, early onset meningitis. Normally, though, when babies are brought in for meningitis, the cell counts are all the way in the thousands. And there's a high death rate with meningitis in newborns because it's not caught on time. About a week into the treatment, she started to have seizures, lots of seizures. And every time she had a seizure, they threw more meds at her to try to stop it. And so they rushed her into a CT scan, MRI scans, and they found that she had two pus collections in her head. The next day was... They, they brought her, rushed her into surgery and removed them. We couldn't touch her for the first 24 hours after her surgery, and it was really hard, really hard to see her just laying there, all these cords coming out of her, and if my daughter didn't drop her, I never would have brought her in on time. They said that she's a miracle. The doctor said she's a miracle because meningitis is never caught this early, and um, it progresses so quickly, and they said one more day could have been fatal. There will be lots of follow-up appointments to continue to develop, watch her development as she grows, but she's healthy.